What's up everybody, welcome back to EK Gaming, where today I am bringing you another episode in my Minecraft tutorial series. Now today, I will be bringing you this suburban mansion. This build is quite long in comparison with other builds on my channel, and will take you a couple of hours to make provided that you already have all of the materials available. It features a grey modern design with white edges around the house, but this house isn't fully modern and features the shape that a suburban mansion would have. So in terms of materials, you will need grey concrete blocks, white concrete blocks, quartz pillar blocks, quartz stairs, dark oak wood doors, dark oak wood planks, dark oak wood fences, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, white stained glass panes, dirt blocks, oak trap doors, and blue orchards or any other type of flower that you would like to put in the flower pots outside of the house. Start by taking some quartz pillar blocks and placing a pillar down 7 blocks high. Then take some grey concrete blocks and build 8 outwards from the top of the pillar before building another pillar on the end like so. Then build another 5 blocks out like so and create another pillar with grey concrete blocks. Take it out by another 10 blocks and use quartz pair blocks to section it off at the end. Then go another 8 blocks in this direction and section it off again with quartz pillar blocks. Go ahead and build another 3 blocks out and then build another 4 blocks out like so. Place another quartz pillar right at the end of that and place a grey concrete pillar right here. Build 5 blocks out like this, then another 11 out from the end of that. Then place a grey concrete pillar at both points. Build another 8 blocks out and place a quartz pillar 14 blocks high right at the end of that. Build out another 8 blocks and place another 14 block high quartz pillar right at the end. Build another 5 blocks out. Then build 27 blocks out from the end of that. Place another 7 block high quartz pillar at the end and then add a grey concrete pillar right here. Build another 12 blocks out like so. Then go ahead and place another quartz pillar. Place another 14 blocks along like this and at the end point place a grey concrete pillar. Build another 4 blocks out like so, then place another quartz pillar at the very end of that. Take it out by another 12 blocks, then place a quartz pillar at the end like this. Then place another 9 blocks and it will connect off like this. Now go to the middle section here and build 5 blocks inwards like so. Build grey concrete pillars at the end points. Then connect this section off and fill it with grey concrete.
build a seven block high quartz pillar on the far left side of this section, then one block from the far right build another quartz pillar. Then on both pairs of the 14 block high pillars build a roof structure like this that goes in by one block every time it goes up. Line the inside of these pillars with grey concrete Then construct a doorway entrance like this out of quartz pillars Then go around the house and build up the roof section like this in the following places. Now go around the house and place down the bottom of the window frames using grey concrete blocks. When you get to this point, start placing down white concrete up this section one block inwards. This will be the garage door. Then place down some more grey concrete here and build another white garage door right here.
Add these horizontal parts at the front entrance like so. Take some more grey concrete blocks and line this section on the ground. Then go around the house making sure that all of the supports are at least two blocks wide like so. Break some holes into both garage doors like this, making sure to have a two block wide section in the middle followed by a single block next to that. Make sure the wall on the far left is three blocks wide with grey concrete. Now add another layer of grey concrete here. Line the edges of the following windows with grey concrete like so. Then add a support section in the center of this large window like so. Once this is done, it is time to move on to the roof. Now I will be using stone brick stairs for the roof. However, because I find them difficult to place down, I will be placing down a different block on the entire roof and then placing the stairs down on top. These blocks will then be removed once the stone brick stairs have been placed. Here you can see that I used blue concrete blocks because they were bright coloured but if you are going to do this in survival mode you would either use dirt or netherrack since they are easy to get hold of and fast to break. If you want to skip me placing down all of these roof blocks then go to the time shown on the screen right now. I will be speeding up the clip of me placing these down anyway in case you actually wanted to watch it.
Once the roof blocks have all been placed down, take some stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs and cover the entire roof with them. Again, if you want to skip this stage, skip to the time shown on the screen right now. Then take some stone brick slabs and place them down on this flat part of the roof. Go up to this large window and line it with grey concrete like this. Line the back end window like this. Then go to the garage door and fill in the windows with white stained glass.
Now I'll take some quartz stairs and line the edges of this roof section like this. Then place some more quartz stairs underneath like so. And once that is done, take some quartz slabs and place three of them at the bottom of the quartz stairs like so. Then go ahead and repeat this for all seven of the roof parts. Now that is done, you can see the house is starting to take shape. Now make a 2x2 two two window right here. Make a 2x3 window right here. Make a 2x2 two two window right here. Make a single 1x1 one one window right here. Then add grey concrete along the top of the windows right here. Now break a 2x3 window right here. Now place some white stained glass panes in the following windows. Now go around the house and line the top of the remaining windows with white concrete blocks.
break a two by five window right here. Then break a five by five window here. Now go ahead and place white stained glass panes in all of the windows around the house.
Once that's done, you should have something that looks like this. Now moving on to the porch area, place some quartz pillar blocks down horizontally like so. Then place some quartz stairs upside down like so. And you should end up with this neat looking wall for the front porch. Go ahead and place two dark oak doors down at the front of the house. Now take some dirt blocks and place them at the bottom of the following windows. Once you have placed those down, take some standard oak trap doors and place them around the dirt blocks in order to create a flower pot effect. Now choose a flower to place in the dirt. Personally, I like the way a blue flower complements the grey and white building, but it all comes down to personal preference. The flowers that I have chosen to use are blue orchids. Now place standard oak trap doors around the house like this in order to create a shutter effect. Only place them on the windows that I have placed them on right here. Now go inside of the house and remove the floor and then fill it back in with dark oak plants. Destroy this roof section. and then destroy this one too.
Fill in this part with grey concrete. Then do the same around these parts. Now seven blocks above the floor, just above the white ridge of the windows, place the first floor of the house using dark oak wood planks. Once that is done, come over to this part of the ground floor and cut out a 4x5 rectangle into the first floor. Now place down some dark oak stairs like this. Then take some dark oak fences and place them under the stairs like this. Now take some more grey concrete and line this section like so. Now take some more grey concrete and line these sections like this. The next stage is to mark out the rooms of the house and although I'm going to show you how I did them, you can feel free to do them the way you want because obviously placing down rooms in the house all comes down to personal preference. So starting off place 3 blocks on each side of the wall right here, then over here place another 3 grey concrete blocks on each side. Now place 5 on each side like this over here. And between the two garage doors, place 5 blocks on the right hand side and 4 on the left hand side. Now fill in the ground floor walls with grey concrete making sure that the doorway is 3 blocks high.
go to the first floor and right at this archway build five blocks out on each side and then build it up making sure that the doorway is three blocks high again. Then do the same over here. Then at this archway build three blocks out on each side and build it up again. Now for the final finishing touch, you will need to take some quartz slabs and place them at the top of each doorway around the house. Just for the record, I am not going to be creating any sort of interior or adding lighting inside the house, because in my opinion that comes down to personal preference of the builder. And with that being done, this suburban mansion is complete. I would like to point out that I will be making more suburban mansion and suburban house tutorials in the future, but I will try and make them much shorter than this one. This house is very large and as a result this tutorial video is more than double the size that I wanted it to be, so I apologise for that and I promise that I will keep them smaller in the future. If you built this, let me know below by saying I built it, and please like the video and subscribe to EK Gaming for more Minecraft building tutorials coming to you very soon. I look forward to bringing you more content like this in the future, and I'll see you all next time.